Hey guys, my name is Phil with risewithai.com. In today's video, I wanna talk about a new AI copywriting tool called GoCharlie. Now in this GoCharlie review, I wanna show you exactly what GoCharlie is, how it actually works, and by the end of this video, you should know if it's right for you. And if you are thinking about getting started, they are currently having a lifetime deal, which is actually ending soon, so you can get started for either $99 one-time payment, and you can do up to 35 blog post per month plus you get unlimited short copy or if you want to do unlimited blogs per month you can pay $435 and get a one-time price and have it forever so if you want to get started with go charlie highly recommend getting it i know in the next few weeks this deal is going away so make sure you check it out so if you don't know what go charlie is it is an ai copywriting tool and the really interesting thing about this particular one is it is number one product hunt product of the day plus it has just been featured on wall street journal alongside the biggest ai copywriting tool out right now which is jasper.ai. So if we scroll down here, I'll just show you what I mean. If you come down a little bit here, they talk about Jasper, how it's received 125 million in Series A funding. Then on the next paragraph, they talk about a nice little startup platform called gocharlie.ai. So there's massive hype in the community right now. GoCharlie is taking off. They're getting a load of people inside of the platform. And once again, the pricing for it is now changing. So if you wanna get it at the best price possible, make sure you get that lifetime deal. So what I'm gonna do is quickly run through the different features that are provided inside of GoCharlie, and then I'll go behind the dashboard and show you how this works. So first of all, they have four main focus points. They have, first of all, blog posts. Now, this is probably the most powerful feature of GoCharlie, the one that everyone is talking about. You can literally create a thousand plus word blog just by adding in a topic and clicking a one button. This is pretty interesting. You also have a step-by-step -step option if you wanna make it more customized to your preferences, but this is the powerhouse feature. Not many AI tools can provide this or even pull this off. So GoCharlie is a beast when it comes to creating articles. There's also all of the different short form content, things like social media, like creating Facebook ads, Instagram ads, LinkedIn ads, captions, YouTube video titles, descriptions, everything like that as well. That's inside of the social media. They are also up on par with all the other AI copywriting tools in terms of the AI generated images and artwork. You can create 4K images um, using your different preferences that you put in. So it's a really powerful feature. Once again, everyone is doing it and for sure you get it inside of GoCharlie as well. Once again, at a lifetime price. And then finally, the last thing you can actually do is you can use this content repurposing tool, which is pretty interesting. You can turn a YouTube video into a helpful, insightful, and SEO-friendly blog in 60 seconds. Now, this to me is actually one of the most exciting features because at the moment, I'm currently trying to hire a VA to go ahead and do this for me. I'm paying them quite a bit of money as well, and I'm still training them. It's a little bit of a pain. However, this actually might alleviate the need for that VA or give maybe 80% of the job done, so then the VA just needs to touch it up. So this is actually something that's really exciting. If you're repurposing your YouTube videos yourself, then this is going to save you crazy amounts of time if it can actually pull it off. And what we're going to do is actually go into the dashboard and test it out. So apart from that, you can have a look at some testimonials. You can also see all of the bits and pieces on the website. But what I'm going to do right now is log into the platform and show you GoCharlie AI. So this is gocharlie.ai. This is actually on the $99 plan. Um, I'm just testing it out. I may even buy a few copies just for different projects I'm running, but this is on the premium plan. You can also use their free plan, and I know they are having a Black Friday sale, but I've just confirmed with the staff it's not going to be on lifetime deals. It's only going to be on subscriptions. So if you wanna beat the subscriptions, once again, get in early before it's too late. But inside of the dashboard, you can see we've got multiple different options of types of content we can create. We have different types of images in terms of image creation, image to alt text, image to ads. So there's plenty to choose from in there. We also have ads inside of Google, Facebook, LinkedIn, and SMS, which is interesting. I haven't seen SMS before. 
We also have different types of blog creation. So we have the one click blog I was telling you about earlier. We've also got a wizard if you'd prefer to create your own headlines and things like that. We've also got parts of blogs like ideas, titles, introduction, conclusion, outline, and also listicle. So plenty of features to help you create articles. Next we have copywriting and this is where you can see all of the massive amounts of features that they can provide, things like slogans. We also have a motto, call to action, you know, we've got company bios, brand mission, you know, there's plenty inside of here. Hook generator, that's a good one. Growth ideas is a fun one I haven't played with yet, but we'll go ahead and play with a few of those soon. Next we have e-commerce. So if you are an e-commerce platform or an e-commerce store, you can have things like product reviews, product benefits, product description, and pros and cons. We then have emails. So you've got a pretty cool feature inside here. You've got the email subject line. You've got sales email, agile investor email pitch, welcome email, thank you, note to customer, promotional emails, offer emails, and new product emails. So this is a really exciting feature. Email is my weak point, so I'll be definitely playing a lot with this. Next we have social media. You've got things like YouTube title ideas. We've also got topic ideas, description, and hashtags, and TikTok brainstorm topics. Pretty interesting, but that's there. We've also got website content, headline, SEO meta description, and meta keywords. That is to complement the blog. And then finally, we have here tools, which is rewrite and content scoring. So there's plenty inside of that. Then there is the, of course, content repurposing feature I talked about earlier. Um, this is gonna be an exciting one and I will be testing this out live on this video, so stick around for that. We've also got save content. We've also got contact us and profile and they do have a Facebook community if you wanna check it out, plus you can make it light and dark. Now, if you prefer not to go on the left, you can also scroll down here and all of the options are available as well. So let's go and get started with an image creation, right? I know a lot of people love this image type uh, feature, I guess you could say. In fact, inside of their Facebook group, they're going nuts for it at the moment. Everyone's posting up these pretty, pretty artistic types of uh, images. So a few options first, we've got square, vertical, we've got widescreen. We also have um, the size if we want to HD 4K or 2K, and then we've got either a photo or art, um, depending on what you're after. So I'm just going to choose photo inside of this image description. I'm going to put inside of here an elephant um, king inside of a dystopian world. Okay, so that sounds pretty crazy. That just came off the top of my head. Not sure what I'm thinking about, but let's see what it can come up with. So I click on fetch and let's see how long this actually takes to produce. Okay, so that took about 20 seconds to generate. And as you can see, this is the image that it's spat out. Now I have to admit, it's actually pretty cool. So it looks like a real sort of, I don't know, hippie sort of, um, very colorful type of image of an elephant inside of a dystopian world, that's for sure. And he's got some pretty cool markings on him. So considering this is what I typed in, it's actually really accurate to what I want. So I can go ahead and save that content if I want, I can rate it up or down. And then if I want, I can just either keep continuing to create content, I can either uh, go ahead and edit this, or I can go ahead and download image or write text to match with it. So I might download it, it's a pretty cool image to keep. So that's basically the image creation. I'm not gonna to spend too much time on this particular feature. You can play around with it as much as you want on any of the premium plans. So make sure you give it a whirl. But let's get into some actual content creation. So I'm gonna go into blogs and click on one click blog. Once again, this is going to be a powerhouse when it comes to people that use this type of feature. Because if you are a blog creator, if you don't have much time, this is going to save ridiculous amounts. And if you are sort of testing out a project, which is something I always do, I like to have content on the website so it looks full. Um, it's always a tough sort of challenge when you're creating a new idea to actually have content out there. So this might save that time. So let's go ahead and put a blog title. So I'm just going to say um, to keep it in what I've been talking about in previous videos. So I could say top 10 um, oh, top benefits for wearing decent running shoes, right? So something random like that. Target audience is going to be um, people interested in fitness. Okay, SEO keywords is going to be benefits, um, decent running shoes. Okay, and click right. And once again, I'm just going to go ahead and get out my stopwatch and time how long this takes to create. 
Okay, so that has now completed. It took about 50 seconds to finish, which is not too bad. I actually just changed the title a little bit um, as I had wrong grammar there. But this is the result that we can see, right? So if I come down, we've got a nice H1 tag. We've also got plenty of H2 tags inside of here and plenty of content. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine different H2 tags inside of here. So that's a lot of content. I'm actually quite impressed with it. Now, interestingly, I can't seem to find a word counter on this page. It's probably something they're going to add in the future. So what I've actually done is added it into a Google Doc. And let me show you exactly how many words it generated. So here we've got 1,923 words for this one-click AI-generated article, right? So I'm actually really impressed with it. It's, it's an insane amount of content for just a click of a button after you've typed in your keyword, right? So it's, it's pretty impressive. Now, if you come down, there are a few little grammatical mistakes, which is usually pretty standard with AI copywriting tools. Grammarly can fix, of course, all of these. If you have premium, it just takes one click. But overall, I'm pretty impressed with the length of it. So let's go ahead and have a little read just to make sure it actually makes sense. So running is a great way to get some exercise, but it is also important to make sure you have the right gear. That's why in this blog post, we're going to be talking about the top benefits of wearing decent running shoes. So right there, the keyword benefits decent running shoes, and it's gonna talk about the top benefits of wearing decent running shoes. That, this is impressive. We'll cover everything from how they can help prevent injuries to help how they can help improve your performance. By the end of this post, you should have a good understanding of why decent running shoes are so important. Image suggestion, a runner in good running shoes. That is insane. I can't believe it's actually given you an inspiration of what you should use for an image. So uh, pretty cool. Now, I'm not going to read too much. I'm just going to actually scroll down to the conclusion and all everything in between. You can pause the video and read it if you want. But in conclusion, decent running shoes are important for a number of reasons. They can help avoid injuries, improve your performance, and make running more comfortable overall. When selecting a pair of running shoes, be sure to choose something that fits well and offers the level of support that you need. There is no one size fits all approach when coming to running shoes, so don't be afraid to try on different pairs until you find the perfect fit. That is insane. I mean, Coming from testing dozens of different AI copywriting tools, I have to admit this one's actually good because you don't need to change anything. A lot of the time they scrape data and then it might have like a, a reference to something. It might have a date, like a, a previous year or something like this. But looking at this article really quickly, I can't see anything to really flag that is wrong. So in terms of the quality of content, I'm extremely impressed with the entire thing. Um, I'm definitely going to be saving that and uh, using it if I ever have a running brand. So this is really cool. Like, So what I would do with this is obviously if I'm creating a website and it's got something to do with, you know, I don't know, SEO or something like that or different types of services or whatever it might be, even affiliate sites, you could just come in here and quickly create, you know, 10, 20 articles just to get some content on the website in less than probably half an hour. Just copy it and paste it to your site, obviously proofread it, but you're good to go. Very impressed. So let's move forward. I don't want to keep you waiting too long. Let's have a look at some different types of options. Let's actually actually choose email just because this is one that I'm going to be using a lot. So let's go have a look at, for example, a welcome email. Add your brand here. So my brand is Rise with AI. And brand description, Rise with AI is a, um, a content, or let's just say this is an informative platform um, showcasing different AI software available for business owners um, or maybe to help grow business faster, something like that. Okay, so plenty of grammatical stakes. So let's go ahead and click on fetch. Once again, I'll time how long it takes, but let's see what it can come up with. Okay, that literally took like three seconds, so I could have kept playing. So let's have a look at the image and let's see what we've got. Now, oh, sorry, not the image, the text. It's pretty interesting how they've actually added um, image boxes here and it has this little button where you can go ahead and make an image. So let's read a few captions and we'll go and test out an image too. So first one, hi, do you have an interest in AI? If so, you'll love Rise with AI, our platform that showcases the latest and greatest AI software available to help businesses grow faster. We've got everything from marketing automation to chatbots, so you can find the right tools for your needs. Check us out today and see how we can help 
take you take your business to the next level it's actually really good i'm pretty impressed with that we'll have a look at the second one real quick hello thanks for considering rise with ai as your go-to source for information on the latest and greatest ai software our platform provides a wealth of information on different ai options available to help grow biz your business faster we hope you find our content helpful and that we can help you take your business to the next level. If you have any questions or comments, please don't hesitate to reach out. We look forward to hearing from you soon. So this is actually really good. This These could both easily pass as a welcome email. So I'm very impressed with it, but I'm more excited actually to click on this image and see what happens. So I haven't even had to put in any input. Interesting. So let's see what it comes out with. I'll just pause to see how long it's actually going to take. Okay, so that took probably another five seconds after I paused the video, but I'm not sure what this is, but it's pretty scary. So I probably wouldn't use that image, but I can see where they're going with it, right? That whole AI um, background and computers and things like that. So I'll try this one too. Um, I'm assuming it's going to be something similar, but once again, I'll pause the video and see what it comes up with. Okay, so that has now completed. As you can see, it's a pretty interesting type of image. Once again, uh, it's it's showcasing, I guess, different types of AI systems. Um, pretty interesting. I'm sure it'll have better results if you had something more niche specific, if it's like hobby based, if it's maybe like service based, whatever it might be. However, that is what it came up with. Pretty cool. So let's now go to content repurposing. This is probably going to be one of the most uh, interesting types of uh, features that I think there is and I've just realized that I actually can't use this feature right now because all of my videos don't have subtitles but let me show you what happens basically you type in your audience so it could be um, digital marketers trying to build an email list so this video is to a video um, I created about building an email list so if you click on fetch usually it's going to come up with um, a big piece of content but it says could not retrieve a transcript for the video it's most likely because subtitles are disabled or unavailable so unfortunately i can't showcase this feature right now but i will try to in future videos make sure you subscribe if you haven't yet to have a look at that but that's basically go charlie guys i don't want to make this too long but come inside there is a free version if you want to test it out once again the link in the description is going to take you to the current lifetime deal it's going to disappear in a few weeks highly recommend getting it before it does or you will have to pay a monthly fee but that's it guys that is my go charlie review i hope you enjoyed it and i look forward to seeing you on the next video